Welcome back to the Runex Iron Man. Today we're starting out with what else but another Halloween roll. Um, I've been doing a fair bit of farming. I'm up to 84 now. I've just been combining herb farming. I went through my iris seeds and now I'm on my ridiculous stack of Raynar seeds um, with just watermelons for more XP. And we get, ooh, Killer's Mask. Is this just, is this a Scream Mask? Kind of, but it's also the face from a Soul Spain. Still, neat. Um, I don't like grinding out the tokens, but I might as well with how close I am to the next roll. Um, I'm working towards doing, I think it's 10 rolls to get the, ooh, nice one, sucker, um, the uh, community bonus boxes. Um, where am I on that, anyway? One, two, three, I think I'm four in, and it's only the 10th, I've got plenty of time, but why wait, you know? So, I guess it's time to grind out roughly a hundred tokens. Uh, oh, these have not rolled over, right. Uh, lamps are also now worth five rune coins, so I'm gonna stop wasting them, because that adds up from dailies and stuff. I actually got some pretty good stuff from while doing that. I got a tooth half of a key, a 5RC from before, some cannonballs to make. Uh, so might as well have some fun with this opening. Or roll or whatever you want to say. Ooh, an epic crystal key. Oh. I see. Some interesting stuff in that. So crystal, Epic Crystal Key is three opens. Lots of brews, blood runes, yes! Granite Flakes, are those? They're not even rune coins. Ah, that is actually a pretty sweet pull from those. Wait, what were those seats? Oh well. You'll see in the video what seats those were. And now, uh, roll. Jack Phantom Mask. It, it is a pumpkin that I wear on my head. Oh, it has the shade robe effect. That's actually neat. Yeah, these cosmetics I'm not usually a big cosmetic person, but the ones for this event have been pretty cool. Alright, back to... Oh right, I was trudging towards Max. Oh god, mining. I might... Uh, I think I'm gonna make a suggestion for... Um, mining to add the shooting star event just because mining is pretty terrible as is right now like even if you just do coal mining dailies it's weirdly not afk i mean rune crafting is just it's rune crafting what are you gonna do but Probably gonna do Hunter past, uh, I think it's 86 through Lava Wagtails. I like how it apparently used to give experience and he forgot to get rid of the line. But 
but uh, yeah, how many? I only have four free points. Yeah, I'm gonna. I might actually do construction. Um. Yeah, I've got loads of planks. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Apparently I actually need to buy a house, unlike most servers. This is odd to me. Let's see how painful it's going to be to buy. Let's see. Maker, makeover mage. Who do I need to? Oh, he's probably like right over by the house portal, isn't he? Soon librarian, soon enough. Right, estate agent. Purchase a house. Oh, one mil. Wow, that was not nearly as much as I had expected. Huh. Well, time for the oak mortar grind, I guess. Let's see, build. Rotate it. There we go. Oh no, we don't have hotkeys. What? This is a strange QOL to be missing. Can I please? Ooh, this construction is wonky. I'm getting into the rhythm, though. Oh boy. I'll... I should probably be using my double XP time on this, just to make it less painful. So, as expected, the update for the Halloween event has come out. They have introduced Halloween Monster Hordes, where about every 30 minutes or hour, a horde of Halloween monsters will invade a free-to-play city, come up, uh, as well as a new Banshee boss. Uh, the Warlord Banshee, who gives blood money, coins, and Halloween tokens, as well as a new pet, Cursed Casket, and can drop pumpkins. Um, the interesting thing about this is, oh, nice, I logged in just in time. Um, they've also changed up the drop tables of some of the mobs, so like the skeletons will drop the skeleton set as well as a pumpkin occasionally. You also get some blood money, that's actually awesome. Uh, the Shrieking Banshees give, oh. Ooh. They actually upped the amount of tokens, or minimum tokens, from the spooky mobs. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, at one point, luck tokens actually did work on doubling uh, Halloween tokens, but that was apparently a bug and has been fixed. I kind of liked it, but... <laughs> but yeah, so... I didn't see it in there, but did they 
include adding an actual count to how many rolls you've made. No. But, yeah, they really kicked up the requirement because there are going to be tons of tokens coming into the game for the, the mystery chest. But, I mean, it's going to be fun once I get those. Alright. So, I'm all an update on my construction. I am at 83. I am almost done with my teak planks. Yeah, I said that right. <laughs> and I have regulars. Uh, and mahoganies. And that's definitely not going to be enough for 99, even with the doubled um, things. Additionally, they've added Ents who will drop, oh, I can just see they've dropped it, um, kind of like in old school RuneScape, you kill them, they drop logs, you get woodcutting experience, I believe, um, and there was one other thing added to the wilderness, I forget what it I added something else. Oh, epic lava keys now exist. Uh, I'm not sure what you get them from, probably just caskets. Oh, uh, and I'm PM'd while doing a clip. Cool. <laughs> little update I'm I'm just gonna go do my uh, ripper boss all right so got another thousand Halloween tokens from the ripper and a horde let's go oh ultimate prize box oh that's Cool. Uh, that's used on the mystery chest. There's no real chest for the, the... There's no key for ultimate prize boxes, so... Oh! Skeller tokens. Those are actually kind of... Eh. That's good for getting bags of tokens. Because I get the double XP scrolls. And five rune coins, and no rune coins. Ooh, Tokel. I have so many skiller tokens, though. Alright, now to act construction for real. Used up my logs, so I'm up to uh, 89. Construction. Uh, I'm not looking forward to going back into it. Uh, I, I, I'm not a fan of construction. I, I'll just say it. Uh, let's see. I think I'm going to go ahead and just knock out the summoning achievements. Uh, oh, and that because I am, again, working towards the total achievement count for the most part. Uh, maxing is just a side effect of that. And in one XP scroll and all my charms, I am 91 summoning. And I barely scratched my cash stack, which is nice. Oh, I forgot that I actually did get charms for Eight. <laughs> okay, best crimson is swamp wizards. I might as well show the clip because it's going to be a very brief thing. I, 
could technically sell the pouches to the GE or to the general store, but it, it's so little money. worth it that's what okay, let's draw all right so that's two achievements knocked out i need to do the low alking achievement um i huh. yeah i guess bandits should be a pretty chill one to do if no one's already there I am at eight days. Yeah, I should have that achievement. Huh. Weird. But once I get that, that's another 2.5% XP. I forgot to use my experience sets. Ugh. Whatever. Um, I'm about to get that one done. Mr. Marauder. That is easy to do. That is very easy to do. That is, again, just something I'm going to do while on the KVD grind. Hmm. I should fight Jad. I hate the fight caves, but I definitely have the gear for it. <laughs> but uh, in case you've forgotten, we are working towards the Rune Requisitor achievement, which is the meta achievement. That's never happening. Oh, I'm actually at the Rune Dragon phase of that. I should just do that, because Rune Dragons drop good stuff, and that's just a lot of killing metal dragons, really. <sighs> Servers, I just don't Ford. And killing those bandits has gotten me to 86 ranged. Actually significantly lower than I was thinking and hoping, but hey, I already claimed that achievement, so let's grab that. Up to 11 spare achievement points. Uh, oh, I finally got my playtime achievement. Oh, in any case, uh, hmm. what to do now? How many bloods do I have? I might do some blood barrage tanking bosses. Three thousand blood runes. I'm gonna go fight some mole. Work on that achievement. Um, I'm not. I think you get a good number of like seeds and tokens and stuff from turning in mole parts. So, or I'm not gonna get one twenty kills in the blood runes I have there. Those women are also always a good AFK option. 
think I need 93 for that. Remember back when I actually cared enough about grinding? Well, I guess I'm gonna need to go there eventually to get an EI torso, but yeah. To the mall. And the tokens just keep rolling in. I got like 900 something from the Ripper that time, which was kind of amazing. So let's roll. Ooh, I got a box. And I'm going to be a jerk and not open that box until I clear this hoard. All right, I'll stop fooling around. Okay, game. Now you're just messing with me. Still, 200 RC is really amazing. Alright. It's time. I, I need to just kill Jad. Get it over with. And I get to do it three times with all 63 waves because if you don't do all 63 waves and instead take the halfway route like a normal person uh where is it's probably under hoard yeah if you do the half waves you don't get any uh achievement progress yay so that's gonna be fun and not at all tedious, but I knock out two achievements and get a lot of points out of it. Oh, I have a lot of points now. Um, is there anything I can imbue? Oh, I almost forgot that there actually is a new, with the new update, there's a new uh, enchantment, the Infernal Tentacle. Holy my, oh. Oh, wow, that is actually a good weapon though. So, this is incredibly expensive, but if you take a Abyssal, Lava, and Frozen Whip, a Kraken Tentacle, an Infernal Cape, so an Inferno Clear, an Infernal Elixir, which I'm not even sure how you get that, an Infernal Heart, and an Imbuing Stone, an 80% chance at getting an Infernal Tentacle, which is a pretty good whip, admittedly, with three magic defense that uh, has infinite tentacle charges, so it inflicts six venom damage. That's a hilariously endgame item. All right, so I guess, wait, I think I am about to, do I have enough vote tickets? All right, I'll see you after grinding the fight cave. Uh, all right, I thought I'd start recording now because I have never actually managed to kill Jad in any RSPS or either version of the live game. And I'm on wave 61 now. So I know that Stomp is range not stomp his mage. I'm going to need more blood runes, but my strategy is uh, blood bursting because I don't know if I have the soul runes to do three runs with blood bursting. Clearly I don't have the bloods for it either, but I'm gonna have to do some barrows. And I've been kiting the level 180s, the melee guys. Keep the Prey Mage on, kill the Rangers as soon as I can. Um, it's just you, so I'll go ahead and Prey Melee. Um, gear setup is Elder Chaos Hood, Amulet of Fury, Prayer Cape for the prayer points. Honestly, next time I'm going to use the Magic Cape with a wrench because I brought way too many prayer potions. Okay, two healers. 
Ice is fine. Uh, Sears Ring, Infinity, Master Wand, Tome of Fire, because it's my best offhand. Honestly, considering just buying the Infinity book for cases like this where I don't even need the fire runes. But I just want to go to bed. It's 1 a.m. <laughs> This is indeed just free healing. I'm going to start using Leech Magic now. Because any bonuses help is welcome. Technically I'm not dusted just because I miss a prayer flick. There is a chance it just misses or does not one shot me. Oh, this is spooky. What is it? Stomp is range, lean is mage. range. Mage. Range. Mage. Range. Mage. 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 Range, mage, range, I might do it, mage, range, mage, range, one more good hit. Yeah, I did it. Yes. I killed Jad for the first time ever. <laughs> yes. Oh, now I just have to do it two more times. Oh, but I am very happy that I did that. Boom. Master task bottle that is staying closed. Ugh. That is so nice. I have a fire cape. But. Let's took our call to. Okay. Yeah, I am not gambling my fire cape, because I need three of those to make the better fire cape, along with my prize cape. <gasps> Sacrifice took our call, you can participate in Jelly Jed. Jed. Um, how do I get that aside from the achievement? Oh well. Alright, so let me show you what I want the setup to be. Uh, 
what's going in my trophy tab. Alright, so I do need the chaos runes. Magic. Probably bring two of those. Wrench. Does that give magic damage? No, it just has the um, rune thing. So this is my kind of ideal setup because the Elder Chaos Hood is actually better than the Infinity Hat for some reason. I guess it is a boss item, but uh, yeah. So next clip, I'll have done this two more times after grinding barrows to get way more blood runes. Actually, how many? Oh, wow, I definitely have the soul runes. So... Yeah, that. The auto-casting of blood barrage. Uh, I think this is just going to be the end of the video, and next time I will be the owner of three fire capes.